Um, so I started writing this novel, and I thought it was going to be a novel about marriage, but it turned out to be a novel about divorce because those are the things I was just more interested in, not necessarily the the way the marriages were, but what led to the what led to their ends, and whether or not you could have seen it coming. I guess I want people to think about marriage and about whether or not this is still a tenable institution or is it something that's religious and based on tax law and 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 hurts us more than it helps us. I don't know the answer to that. I'm 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 happy in my marriage, which I think is probably a hard thing for certain people to hear after after reading that, but I've had some people come over to me um, who don't know me but who've read the book and have said, um, I'm going through a divorce, and they don't want to hear that I'm not going through a divorce, which I understand completely, and I always say immediately, just so you know, um, I am, you know, I'm, I'm, this is fiction. <laughs> um, even though the character resembles me, it is not me. Um, I think I just want people to think about this, and I think I want people to think about gender roles in marriage. And, and, and why we keep fighting for something that has long ago been given to us in, in other parts of our lives. I think that's what I want. But mostly I want people to, to enjoy the read. I want people to not be able to put it down. I want people to talk about it and um, be angry about it and confused and, and interested. And, and that's, that's all any author can ask for, I think. <laughs> I think it's because, I have a complicated theory of it, and I think it, it goes to a bargain that we make with women's magazines, um, wherein the the celebrity being profiled in a woman's magazine t sits down, does a public display of eating, and says to the journalist, I just have good genes. And what she's signaling is, I'm not better than you. I just got lucky. You can relax. Whereas Gwyneth sits down and orders a, like a celery, a piece of celery s stock, and says, um, I, I, yeah, I'm only eating this because I, I want to take care of my body, which if you're sitting there and you're reading your women's magazine and you're looking for a way to get off the hook and you're looking for a way to understand that you could be thinner or prettier or healthier or, or, um, whatever you're, then here's how to do it. And people resent that because we're already working so hard and we're already exhausted. And that is my global theory of essential Gwyneth Paltrow hate hatred. <laughs>